Hi there, I'm Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I'm going to do a tutorial for this beginner striped blanket that my daughter Nicolina made. And um, it's a really, really nice stripe pattern. Of course, we'll have the graph for that on our website and the link will be down in the descriptions if you're just seeing this on YouTube. But if you're on our website, then you already have the details. So I'm just gonna do a quick beginner demonstration of this stitch. So here's a little bit um, more up close look of this stitch. It's really, really simple. We're just going to alternate half double crochet and single crochet. I love this beginner blank. This, I mean, I'm calling it a beginner blanket because she made it wide enough that you do not have to worry a border. And she started with this gray down here and ended with the gray up here so i think it's just a natural really nice crib size throw um i'm really 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 love the stripe pattern that she has going here okay so she made it with red heart soft which is very similar to karen simply soft it is a four medium four weight yarn these are big i think they call them 10 ounce balls yeah 10 ounce skeins. Um, all the details about how, ma how many she used and stuff are on our website. I'll be using an eye hook, 5.5 millimeter. And so let's get started. All right, you'll just wanna start with a slip knot. I just usually wrap my yarn around, kind of cross it, and then push that back through, just grab it, kind of pull it down on itself. Put my hook in there and tighten it down like so. I wrap around my pinky and then my forefinger. And I like to grab with my thumb and my middle finger to hold on to what's going to be made. Now, with this blanket, the base chain, you can make it any even number. So just start chaining, and for our sample swatch, let's do 20 chains. And I'm just grabbing and pulling through. Try and keep this as even as possible. And I'm just letting that yarn slide through my fingers Keeping it really, really loose. Here is 20 chains. And for this pattern, we will start with a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So not counting this one, one, two. Start right there. Just insert your hook underneath the top loop, yarn over, pull that yarn through, yarn over, and pull through two. Now in the next space, yarn over, oops, and insert your hook under that top loop, yarn over and pull back through, and yarn over and pull through all three. That's what's called a half double crochet. So very beginner friendly. This is our single, this is our half. Continue alternating these one per chain. Stitch all the way down to the end of the row and your last stitch of the row should be a single crochet. Now, if you happen to not end with a single crochet, then you'll need to go back and recount your beginning chain. You need to start with 20 chains Start in the second chain from the hook, and now if you go back and count, we should have 19 stitches. So if you can, if you're counting and there's 
you know, you're not an odd number, that's your problem. Or you might have done two half double crochets in a row or two single crochets in a row and just not realized it. Okay, so chain one and turn, just like a page in a book. And now we will continue the pattern again. Single crochet right into the top of that single crochet from the row below and half double crochet into the half double crochet of the row below. Now let me show you a closer look of exactly where I'm putting my hook, putting my hook underneath the two V's of that single crochet. And then for a half double crochet, you'll see the two V's that they're, they face you or there's two on the top and you wanna just yarn over and work underneath the two on the top and split the two V's on the side. You wanna see that little bar go across. That's what makes up the pretty pattern. Okay, this is all for the stitch. I'm going to work this. The last stitch again will be a single crochet because we start and finish each row with one single crochet. Now there's no border on this blanket. That's why it's so beginner friendly. This is an awesome project for you to start um, oh, I guess there's one more thing as a beginner is you need to know how to introduce the color. So let me get to the end of the row and I will bring in another color, how to start a color. So I'm about to work the final single crochet into the top of the single crochet from the row below and change color, show how to change color. So you just insert your hook into the stitch. You do yarn over and pull up a loop and you're gonna stop right there. Then you'll simply lay the new color over the yarn and pull through. Kind of tighten that other gray one down and you'll, you'll want to cut that tail off, leave yourself about nine inches so that you can weave those ends in at the end of the project. Chain one, and now you're off and running, ready to start your next row. Start right away with a single crochet. You can pull these down, kind of tighten them, tighten them up a little bit, but at the end when you when you weave in your ends, you'll be able to kind of tighten that up even more. Okay? All right. Thank you so much for coming by our website to learn how to do this beginner blanket. Um, let me just show it to you one more time. How beautiful this stitch turns out at the end. Look at how... I just love how the half followed by a single gives you these really nice ridges. So anyway, okay, thank you so much. We will see you next time.